next guest, Michael Johnson, wanted to teach his son Alec a lesson about his over-the-top Christmas list. So he took him downtown to feed some of the homeless people in San Diego. That day not only taught Alec a lesson, but it changed all their lives. Take a look. Okay, let's get going. My name is Alec and I'm 15 years old. Three years ago, me and my dad started a nonprofit organization called Hunger to Help. I had no intention of starting a nonprofit. Hunger to Help came about because of my son's extensive Christmas list three years ago. I realized I needed to give him a little perspective. So that Sunday, I told my son, we're going to head downtown and we're going to feed the homeless. When my dad told me that we were going to feed the homeless, I did think it was a punishment. I'll season them for you, though. Yeah. We bought enough supplies to make 54 egg and cheese burritos, headed downtown and served them. My parents made me go with Alec because my Christmas list was also really long. When I first arrived downtown, I was still kind of nervous because I never interacted with a homeless person before. I never realized that they're just people like us. Have a good day, Blue. After we got back that first Sunday, Luke and Alec both said how much they loved the experience and they want to keep doing it. I told my friends what we were doing and they wanted to join us. Now there's seven of us and we call ourselves the Burrito Boys. Cole, you continue doing tortillas. That first Sunday downtown, we served 54 meals. Now we're serving over 500 every Sunday. When we come around the corner and they see us, they start screaming and they all run to the line, lighting up with their smiles. It just warms my whole body up when we give them a burrito, it gives them hope. I really look forward to my Sundays every week knowing that I'm making a big difference and helping the people I love. The biggest word for me is seeing the warm smiles, the God bless yous, the hugs, the thank yous. And that's all I need out of it for me to keep doing it every week. They're making a major impact on such a big problem that we have here in San Diego. I love doing this. I know my son loves doing this. And it's something we'll continue to do forever. <laughs> Joining me now are Michael Johnson and his son Alec and the rest of the Burrito Boys and Babes who are in the front of the audience right now. How y'all doing? Excellent. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Queen. So how did it feel the first time you handed a burrito to a homeless person? Well, the first time I went down, I was extremely nervous, kind of like right now, but. <laughs> <laughs> Which but, means you're gonna be great. Yeah. <laughs> and when I was giving the first burrito, my hand was literally shaking. But when he said, thank you and God bless you, I just felt amazing. Just kind of took the edge off and then it was on. And now, and then you enlisted all of your friends to help you? Yeah. That's like practically impossible for a bunch of teenagers to just say, okay, we're gonna do this on Sundays instead of hang out and have some fun, you know, fun somewhere else. Has it been really rewarding to you? How you feel about yeah, that? Yeah, it's been really rewarding, just being able to interact with all the homeless. And Hunger to Help is huge now. Yeah, it became a big nonprofit organization. Michael, did you, did you expect that? Here you are thinking you're just going to teach your son a lesson, give him some perspective, show him how to appreciate a dollar. Right. And now you got this big old organization that went from like 50 burritos to 54. like 500. Yeah, isn't that amazing? Three years ago, we served 54 burritos. We went downtown wow. thinking this is going to be just till Christmas. So we thought maybe four or five weeks we would do this. Three years later, we've served 43,000 meals. <laughs> That's amazing. We're averaging over 500 meals every Sunday. That's incredible. All with teenagers. Who knew? You know, you made a big old list. And, and <laughs> how do you feel now that you, when you get, do you appreciate things more now? Yeah, I appreciate things way more now. Like, just being able to sleep in a house and sleep on a bed, mm -hmm. it's just way, way better than what they're sleeping on. How do you pay for this? How do you pay for the food? Well, when we started, uh, luckily, the, the kids that joined us, between their parents and ourselves, uh, we funded everything out of the gate. But then as we grew, we started doing a fundraiser. Uh, once a year, we do a big fundraiser. Mm -hmm. And we rely on donations. And every dollar that comes in goes against the food, the water, and the different supplies that we bring to the homeless. Well, that's a good thing, because uh, we got a little surprise for you. We told Taco Bell about what you had going on, and, and be there's something they like for you to see. Take a look here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's right. Oh, $5,000. Oh, 
Oh. It's going to you guys. It's a lot of burritos. This donation is from the Taco Bell Foundation for Teens, which believes teens are our future and supports them in achieving more. So thank you so much for all you've oh. done. And you've got 5,000 more bucks to contribute to making it happen more. How's that sound? Oh, thank you Great. so much. You. That's amazing. That's, That's, amazing. That's a lot of burritos. That's a lot of burritos. Thank you so much, and, and thank you for, for really stepping up and doing what you got to do. Thank you, guys. We got the whole burrito crew in here, so thank you so much. For more information on their organization, check out QueenLatifah.com. We'll be right back.